it's about 40 degrees right now. We shoot before between 40 and 50 degrees. We don't want the bees clustered too tightly or the fumes won't penetrate. But if uh, it's too warm, then the bees are fine and we miss some bees. And of course, that's ideal. We don't always end up with ideal. Sometimes we'll keep on going well into the day when the bees are flying a bit because we have to. Let's see, the, let's see the turkey baster looking thing there. See this? Okay. So basically you're packing that stuff in there. We'll have to weigh it when we get home so we can tell how much you know, that thing holds. And when you load that one time, how many colonies are you getting out of one load? About six colonies. Six colonies, okay. Okay. We'll weigh that when we get home. Maybe There's really no way of being precise in your measurement of this stuff with this yeah. tool. We just fill it up to the top, and that seems to do about six colonies. Yeah. Give or take. If one's got a bunch of holes, I'll hold it in there for a few more seconds just to make sure they get a real good okay. dose. But, you know, ready to go? about two of those propane canisters to go through the whole outfit that's pretty good, every right? every yeah. time so yeah. if we're going to do three rounds that's six canisters that's not bad that the gas in a generator would be more than that it's going to cost me there's no way of measuring this stuff per colony the idea is just to fill it up till it's coming out of the cracks under the lid and move on to the next one. I'm sure they're getting plenty. Come on, crack that lid for me. Think you got a clog in there? There might be some stuck in the pot, not letting it go all the way down. I can't feel it with the brake. No, we just got a. There you go. There you go. Yeah, now that's how we do it. Little small volt. little blower, yeah, yeah. twenty volt blower. Which is, that's a good idea. That works a lot better than that hand crank thing. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's a big rod that comes with this thing for clearing it out, but you got to take this motor yeah. off. Pull the motor off. Which is a major pain if you have to do that real often. So Jesse made up this cable affair for ramming down yeah. that tube. And then the other thing I do is I, I twist the cable a little bit, and that helps kind of the, you know, the braid on the cable helps kind of uh, clean the inside of the pipe there and it drops back down and all this all this uh dust and stuff builds up on the inside of your pipe there yeah. uh, so it just it gets in everything okay so right here is your venturi port 
that's where the propane and the air mixes and your igniter is down here that solic acid will get down in there and close that venturi hole off it's like a turn and twist lock type of deal yeah takes a second to get out of there And you can see the acid building up in the uh, piece there. Now, if you'll focus, right there is our problem. And I'm going to kind of rub right here. Hey, John, let me see your lighter real quick. kind of helps to heat this thing up a little bit. Ready? Mm -hmm. It doesn't melt it. It'll come straight down the pipe. Get in there right in the hole. It's a little bitty divot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that one's clear. You got through one, two, three, four, five pallets, and you had to break everything apart. Right. But that you, you hadn't broke it apart for it's been no. several yards ago. Several yeah. yards yeah, ago. Yesterday. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see some more. Okay, John, you've done both. Yes, sir. You've done the pro vaps. You've done this thing. What do you, what I, do you, what do you uh, prefer? I prefer this. You prefer it? Yeah. Because you think sure. it's faster. It is definitely faster. Yeah. Okay. It's quicker. Well, I know this yard was problematic because you had to stop twice and work on it. But, uh, okay, most of our yards are running like 40, 48. How long has it been taking you to get through, say, the yard? 15 minutes, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 20, 15, 20 minutes, minutes at the most at if we the have to most. stop and do what we just did. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll see you later today when it warms up. You guys keep on trucking until it gets too warm. Okay. John, where are you taking us for lunch? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. I'll, I'll tell you what, for doing the video, I'll take you all over to Alley's for lunch. All right. You'll be in by lunch. I know it's going to be too warm right, by right. now. Okay. We'll make sure. Get <laughs> <laughs>
and you're off to the next yard. It's it's pretty it's pretty sweet. I know we're using a lot more oxalic acid per colony than we used to. A lot of it's just getting wasted into the air, you know, which is okay. You know, we're buying it. I'll put a link in the video. Uh, we're purchasing that from Winter Sun Chemical in California, Ontario, California, in 25 kilogram bags, and I think it's a little under 300 with shipping and everything. There's a there's thousands and thousands of grams. A kilogram is a thousand grams, so that's 25,000 grams in one of them bags. That's a few treatments. That's a few treatments. Yeah. I should also add that the people that make this tool are pretty hard to get a hold of. They don't always answer their emails or their phone calls, and um, that's just that's not my experience only. I know other people that have a hard time getting a hold of them, so good luck with that. Yeah. There are some others being manufactured. We call them bazooka vaporizers. There are some others, but I think they all have their problems. There's more demand than there is supply, so that's part of the problem, too. Yeah. All right, when those guys get back, we'll measure that, and then we'll put this video together. <laughs> Sounds good. Hey, thanks, Jesse. Yeah.